We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Tonight, we've got a good matchup in store between the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim and the Philadelphia Phillies. It's Phillies baseball next on the show. Aaron Nola gets the call for game one of the series. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, this guy's done a real good job on the year keeping the opponent's batting average down. Both righties and lefties coming into this one, hitting under 250 against this guy. He's been good all season long. Standing in, Andrelton Simmons. He'll get us started in this Leading one under the lights. The, Angels, the shortstop, Andrelton Simmons. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Hit on the ground to third. Right to him. And a good throw gets him one gun. That is tough. The second baseman. Tommy Rossella. Stepping in, Tommy Lestella, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Now here's the pitch. Now it's one and oh. These Phillies, as they enter play here tonight, fellas, have got to be considered one of, if not the hottest team in baseball right oh. now. Winners of eight of their last ten ball games. Yeah, Maddie, this team finds itself with a huge lead, double digits right now, and climbing, playing really good baseball. Some people will say, oh, you don't want to have that big a lead. You start resting on your laurels. I, I, I look at it the other way, man. You've earned the right to kind of get some guys off their feet if the manager wants it. There's a lot of different ways you can go about it. This team's focused and playing really good baseball. I would not worry about it. Keep pushing the throttle. So striding forward now, Mike Trout, RBI opportunity for him here, and he's the guy you want at the plate as he currently leads the American League in runs driven in. Well, big-time power threats like him tend to rack up a lot of RBIs. He's also way up there on the home run leaderboard. And the first pitch here is oh, below man. the knees, but he gets him to chase it, and it's 0-1. And Strike swinging, timing oh, a little off on that one. Hey, I love that pitch right there. Better execution after just giving up an extra base hit. Fastball, strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. It's never a good look to strike out looking, but it's way worse when you do it with a guy in scoring position. Those are the times you really want to see a guy battle and at least put the ball in play. And digging in next will be Anthony Rendon. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Big swing at the knuckle curve gets nothing but air. 0 oh 2 now. High and deep down the left field line. And that's going to land foul. Hey, that fastball caught too much of the plate on an 0 2 count. And another foul ball. Curveball locks him up, strike three, and that's the third out. Back-to-back -back strikeouts keep him out of danger. Bottom of the first, straight ahead, we are scoreless on the show. Andrew Heaney will be on the mound for the series opener. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, this guy pitched really well in his last outing only allowing one run if he brings that kind of stuff to the ballpark he has a chance to pitch another gem in this one so digging in now Andrew McCutcheon he'll lead things off here in the bottom Here's half of the first Philly, the center fielder Andrew McCutcheon. and the pitch hard hit ball to second there is La Stella. And he will whip this one over to first in time for the out. Batting second, the second baseman, Scott Kingery. Digging in, Scott Kingery. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Pitch on the way. First pitch is a sinker for a called strike one. 
So, fellas, this Angels team entering play here tonight. They come off another loss last time out, and in fact, they've dropped three of their last four. And it's quickly 0-2. Bases are empty, one man out. Low and inside with the breaking ball as that causes him to back up a bit. You know, we'll see him work both sides of the plate with his curveball. Maybe not that far in, but he'll move that pitch around the zone to give it a different look. Hard sinker misses two and two. off on the breaking ball so the count runs full boy went from being in the driver's seat to now being in some trouble had the count 0 and 2 started nipping at the corners and the next thing you know this count stands at three and two good battle here this will be the seventh pitch coming up lifted in the air to center field trout has a read on it two gone Batting third, the right fielder, Bryce Harper. Next to dig in will be Bryce Harper. And what a season he's having. Entering play, leading the league in two of the three triple crown categories. Yeah, and he's just off the league lead in the batting race. He's in the top five of that category, but he is out in front in home runs and ribbies. So we'll see if he can make a push for the triple crown. Down on the shins and missed with it. Ball one. Two out, nobody on. Good curveball there. Gets the swing and miss. Now you could tell right there that curveball had some serious depth to it. That's what separates the good ones from the bad ones. That nasty spin rate. Get that downward action. You even get a star player like this swinging at something in the dirt. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. Two one pitches, a sinker swung on and missed. Two and two. In my opinion, one of the toughest pitches in the game to square up. Just a heavy sinker with good downward action. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. Phillies down in order. Still no score. Justin Upton, the next to hit, is past line against Aaron Nola. He's two for four. He's taken him deep once. First offering on its way. Very rarely does a pitcher like this leave one in a location like that. That's a pitch right there he'd like to have back. He'd love to swing at that one again. Count now a ball and a strike. A 1 1 now to Upton. A ball and two strikes. Swing and a ground ball to third. And a reach to his backhand, but he can't come up with it. And the leadoff man's aboard. And that's one of those plays that stay with you for an entire game. You want to get the first out on what appears to be a routine play, but you can't get it done. The good news, he has some time to redeem himself. He's set and the pitch. Yasiel Puig is in now as he watches a pitch for ball one. Upton gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Now a change up, but it misses just a little below the zone. And a good comeback fastball there. It's two balls and a strike. Some guys are great low ball hitters, but most guys, especially guys with pop like this, they're hunting for the ball belt high and above. So that was a nicely spotted fastball down in the zone. Fouled away. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Well, his struggles continue. It's been a rough go of it at the plate with him. And watching this at bat, it's clear to me that his rhythm and timing, they're just all off. Even as a pitcher like I was, you can tell these things and exploit them.
Jason Castro, the catcher, is in as he'll take a called strike here on a borderline pitch at strike one. The numbers coming in 278 the average, 16 homers, and an even 40 RBIs. Behind 0 and 2 now. Adi jumps on this one. It's high and deep to center. McCutcheon going back at the track. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Batting it. The pitcher, Andrew Heaney. Digging in now, Andrew Heaney. He's set. Here it comes. And he lays off a pitch in there for the first strike. Grounded up the first baseline. Hoskins has it. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Angels strand one. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Last half of the second set to go, and that'll bring up Reese Hoskins. The first baseman, three. Yeah. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Just a tick behind for a strike. And here's a curveball in the dirt that time for a ball. One and one. It's one and two. Curveball misses inside. He might have to look for a different way to put this guy away on 2-2. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times, so he might be looking for it. Swung on in the dirt for the third strike. And he makes the throw to first. Hoskins is retired, and there's one away. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And that'll bring up the dual threat of Shohei Otani. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. He's through first and hustling for second. And he is in at second base with a one-out double. And this, of course, is a ballpark that yields a lot of doubles as we take a look at the team leaders for the most two-base hits this year. And we see there that they're currently ranked third best in that category in the NL. In now, JT Real Muto. And he's the right man for the job with runners in scoring position as he ranks fifth in the National League in RBIs entering play. Yeah, that's kind of surprising to me. I mean, he's a. This ball's down, and that could bring in a run. And the run will score as the Phillies are off to a 1 0 lead. Boy, that has to feel good as a hitter, D. Or you get that base hit to give your team the lead. You have to feel good when you get down to first base. Yeah, it's just a nice approach. You see him turn to his boys right there and get fired up with the dugout. 100%. Not trying to do too much. Able to quiet the moment down, center himself, and come through in a big spot. to the bag and he's back standing he comes set here's the nothing and nothing pitch and he lays off there 1-0 and oh. hey this is a left handed hitter that can fly down the line if they want to turn two they're going to have to be almost perfect now a move over to first and the runner will get back standing Phillies have an early 1-0 lead here in inning number two. Sinker stays outside and is behind now 2-0. 3 and 0 now. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. A 3-0. 
Three balls, one strike. And there's ball four as this one gets away a bit. Batting it. The third baseman. Striding in, Matt Duffy, one of the better hitters in the game this year, currently seventh in the National League batting race. There's no way you could have forecasted this kind of season from this guy. Not to take anything away from him, but I don't think many people in baseball considered him to be one of the league's best hitters for average coming into this year. And he'll go after the first offering here, although this looked to be well below the knees at strike one. Hey, you know the pitcher right now, he's looking for that best friend, that double play ball. This is where you have to really be disciplined at the plate and make sure that you get a pitch that's above the knees that you can get in the air. The 0-2 home. Well hit the other way, and it's into the gap. And the runner will score from second. And to score is the runner from first. It's a 3-0 game. Usually a hitter will shorten his swing with two outs, but not this guy. He puts a big charge into this one and drives in a couple of runs along the way. That can be frustrating as a pitcher when you had a guy on the ropes and you couldn't finish him off, especially when he drives in runs. At the plate, Aaron Nola. Now a swing and a fly ball. But this will land out there just foul. And you see that average below the dreaded Mendoza line. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. Whoa, that's down. These guys hitting aren't in first place by accident. They excel at getting out to early lead, so this is a big moment in this game. If they're able to lengthen this lead any more in this inning, they're going to be in really good shape to come away with a win today. A one ball, two strike count to the Phillies pitcher. Ball and two strikes, here it is. Ah, uh, had him fooled as he swings through the curveball. Two down. Well, you know AL pitchers must love pitching in NL ballparks oh, because all of a sudden they're only facing eight legitimate hitters in the lineup instead of nine. Kind of makes you wonder why any free agent pitcher would ever decide to pitch in the AL, doesn't it? So the next hitter to dig in will be Andrew McCutcheon. He swings and grounds it to short. And that's through into left, a base hit. The throw to the plate. And he is safe at the plate. It's now a 4-0 game. Boy, talking about picking your teammate up after that strikeout, D-Row. Big, big, and I mean big, two-hard RBI single. Yeah, way to come through for your team. When you take the donut off your bat right there, you're trying to pick up your teammate. He had the right game plan, didn't come outside it, stayed through the baseball and was able to come through. And in steps Scott Kingery. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. Oh, and he goes the other way, and he drives it out to deep right center field. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. So four runs on four hits, no errors in a runner left on. We'll go now to the top of the third. Phillies lead this one. Four to nothing. Now batting, Albert Pujols. And as you check out his righty-lefty splits, no surprise that he hits better against southpaws than he does against right-handers. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on, but you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle, and one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. I mean, that fires me up right there. Opposite field knock, and in today's game, where every manager is employing hundreds of shifts to watch this batter go the other way was special. So now to the plate will be Andrelton Simmons, as he'll take a changeup here for strike one. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Angel shortstop behind in the count at a ball and two strikes. That's exactly the pitch you don't want to be chasing in these situations. He's going to keep that ball down below the hollow of the knee. 
try and get you to ground into a double play, you have to set your sights at least belt high. Well, it's still early, but it's also worth noting that he'd be in line for the win if this keeps up as we take a look at the league leaders in games won this season. And as you can see there, he in fact leads the NL in that category. So a runner at first with one out now, and that'll bring in Tommy LaStella to bat next. Well-located changeup on that one as it catches the black for a called strike. And this catches the zone as well. It's 0-2 now. Not the ideal location for a changeup up in the zone, but he got away with it. Count remains at 0-2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Nope. One ball. Hey, he threw that pitch with a purpose to get a double play. Good job to let it go by, though, as a hitter. Able to protect the plate with two strikes, and he'll see another one. He'll try again, one, two. Now a swing and a ball foul tip at the plate, and oh boy, that got the home plate umpire right in the arm, too. The next one, two pitch. And he finally wears him down here as he strikes him out after a nine pitch at bat. Wow, this guy's mowing right through this lineup right now, but that's what happens when you don't get a chance to see a pitcher very often. That's one of the things that are helpful when you're pitching in interleague games. It's always a good advantage for the pitcher because the hitters don't get to see that guy very often. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. Grounded back up the middle. And he'll go the short way to retire the side. Angels leave one. They're on the short end of a 4-0 score. We're back now as the Phillies prepare for their at-bats here in the third inning. And this lineup has been terrific for this club all year. Not only do they lead the league in runs scored, but also in team batting average. Some players I talked to during batting practice told me it's all about winning every inning. They try to take that mentality into each new frame. So when one guy gets a hit to start off an inning, it's almost like a challenge to the next guys coming up to get them home and put numbers on the board. Clearly, that approach makes this a very dangerous offense, guys. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Outfield shaded toward right center. Here's the first pitch. Swing and a miss, 0-1. Like that pitch there, lefty on lefty matchup, curveball away to a lefty, smart pitch. Off the plate, this one's outside, quite a bit off the plate that time. Here's the 1-1. Now a shot to center field. Back goes the center fielder, but this ball has plenty behind it, and it's a home run. Solo home run off the bat of Bryce Harper. Home run number 56 on the year as they extend the lead to 5 to nothing. Hey, listen, there's an old adage in baseball that solo home runs won't kill you. This is one of the top hitters in that lineup. So a home run, a solo home run right here, it's not the end of the world. Next to bat will be Reese Hoskins. As he'll take a look at ball one. Looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Can't sit back long enough and the count evens up at one and one. Bases are empty here. Nobody out. Swung on and missed. One and two now. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Looks like this guy's afraid to throw the ball in the strike zone. Gave up that home run earlier in the inning. Needs to get back to being aggressive. Now a swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already, and there's your first out. So one gone in the inning as we take a look at what's on tap for the fight and fills over the course of the next seven days. And we, of course, will have all the action for you right here on the show. Now in the box, Shohei Otani. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at-bat with another big hit right here. Liner towards second. That's in another base hit. He's two for two. 
Well, man, as we take a look at his line here, he might not know all the specifics, but he knows he hasn't been pitching all that well in this one. Sometimes it happens. You start a game and never completely get into that rhythm. Seems to be the case here. Standing in now, JT Real Muto. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Back goes Trout to the track, but he has no chance to make the play. It's off the wall. They'll extend their lead here as the runner scores from first. Yeah, and when a pitching coach goes to the mound this early, he's probably just looking to reset the pitcher's mindset, get him to forget about the negative, and give him something positive to focus on. We'll see if he responds. On his way toward the mound now is skipper Joe Madden. And we're going to see a pitching change as that's going to do it for his starter here tonight. So a less than stellar performance here tonight as he makes the early exit and forces that bullpen into action much earlier than anticipated. Your Dylan Bundy is going to come on to now pitch here. Board. And in just the third inning, you have to think he'll Number be asked seven. to eat some innings. Dylan Bundy. At the plate now, Bryson Stott. And on the first pitch, he grounds foul. He let her play right at 310 on the year. Five homers and 15 RBIs. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Okay. Now a fastball off the plate away, a ball and a strike. One out and a runner on second base. No oh, offer on it. that one, two balls and a strike. Changeup gets him out in front for strike two. Just a bit high with the fastball, but didn't get the call. And he misses ball four. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. And with first base open, the last thing he wanted to do was give him something to hit in the heart of the zone. So no harm done. Force out anywhere now. So two men are on with one man out. And that means the corner infielder Matt Duffy will bet next. First pitch on its way. And that's by him. It's 0-1. Well, he kind of tipped his hand right there. His approach is obviously sitting on the off speed because he was so late on that first pitch heater. Grounder down the line at third. And that's a fair ball as this one gets by him at third. Tack on another here as the runner scores from second. When you're up by seven runs any time in a game, let alone this early, it feels awfully good. They are hitting on all cylinders here, but they have to be careful not to let off the gas pedal now. Stepping in now, Aaron Nola. As he'll take a tough pitch on the outside part of the plate for strike one. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Here's one that misses high. It's 1 and 1. Props to the hitter right there for laying off with a guy on third. You want to be aggressive, but you have to get a pitch you can drive. And he fouls this one off. Three runs already home here. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. Here's Andrew McCutcheon now. Three across so far in the inning and another two out there on base. Yeah, Matt, and this inning's really starting to get away from him on the defensive side of the ball. Stranding the rest of those guys out here feels absolutely essential for them at this point. Set with the 0-1. Hit down the third baseline. Yeah. 
All over that one, but a little out in front. Foul ball. Changes up on him there, but it's one and two. I love a well-executed changeup, especially one down in the zone. The only problem throwing it in that situation, you leave that belt high or miss your spot just a hair, and you could have some problems. Fouled off. And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as the side is retired. So they pick up three runs on four base hits, no errors, and a couple of men left. Three innings complete. Phillies on top, seven to nothing. Ready now, Anthony Rendon. First time up, he went down looking. Yeah, in today's game, certainly don't get completely reprimanded for too many strikeouts, but no one likes to go down looking. Expect him to be a little bit more aggressive at the dish this A.B. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control 0-2. And, and it's fouled away. Hit in the air down the right field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. A wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Fastball called strike three and there's the first out of the inning. I'll tell you, he looks really dialed in on the bump right there. He's got a shutout going and he really How seems bad? to have this lineup oh, off balance. Good. Even when he up challenges field. them up in up the zone, field. they don't have an answer for it. Here's Justin Upton now. As he grounds one briskly to short. And there are two away now. Back to the Angels. The right fielder. Yakiel. Two gone now for the Angels in the fourth. And up next, the right-handed bat of Yasiel Puig. Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. Bases are empty here with two men out. Uh, trouble averted here as this is tapped out in front of the mound. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Angels go down one, two, three. They're down by a touch. Just about set to go for the last of the fourth. But before we do that, here's Heidi Watney. Matt, I talked with Philadelphia's manager during the break about the Phillies' offensive production to this point. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. He said their ability to get on the attack and chase the opposing starter from the game prior to the fourth inning obviously sets them up nicely for the rest of the game. Now, he just hopes they can keep that same focus at the plate in the middle and late frames, Matt. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Ball one is that one didn't really threaten the inside corner. In his career, Kingery has a slugging percentage a little over 425, a respectable number. Two balls and a strike now. Here's the 2 1 home. Turned on that one and crushed it, just pulled it a little foul. Here now the 2 2. Fouled away. And he fouls this one off. You know, taking you inside the mind of a batter right here, you can't get in auto swing mode. You still have to control the strike zone. Won't commit on the slider. Good patience, and it's full three and two. Well, I think that pitch is the result of a lot of foul balls. He might have tried to do a little bit too much with it, trying to get him to swing through it, but it just ended up taking off on it. So he sets him down swinging. Right Scott Kingery right right was dealt with for the first Five. out in the bottom of the inning. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Upton's after it. He gets there, and that's the second out. 
the first baseman, number 17, three, Hoskins. Now at the plate, Reese Hoskins. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. First offering on its way. Fouled off. Seven runs, eight hits, and one error in the ballgame for the Phillies so far. One ball and one strike to the Phillies' first baseman. And right into the shift, but a foul ball, one and two now. Tried to hold up there. Appeal down to first and no swing. It's ball two. Here now the 2-2. Swung on and he went fishing in the dirt. Castro gathers. The throw to first is in time and the inning is over. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. And they hold a 7-0 lead. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Matt, I had a chance to discuss the state of the Angels' offense with their manager between innings. And one thing he mentioned to me was the lack of discipline he's seeing out of their at-bats right now. He said their pitch selection has been the main reason for their struggles today, as far too often they've been swinging at pitches outside the strike zone. That's leading to a lot of soft contact and easy outs. So the focus going forward is on shrinking the zone and forcing the opposing pitching to throw more strikes. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Starts him out with a changeup for a strike. But facing right-handed pitching so far this season, Castro hits a little over the 270 mark. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. So another exceptional effort for him on the mound. He's got the shutout working here, as we'll show you the league ERA leaders. And as you see, he's right up there among league leaders in that department. Your David Fletcher will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number 22, David Fletcher. A ball of no strikes. 289 is the average coming in. Six home runs and 36 RBIs. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. It's a lot easier to hit when you're putting yourself in good hitters counts. This guy's done a great job not swinging at pitchers' pitches. And when he's getting the ball in the zone, he's getting the barrel to it. He's been hot lately. Just off the inside part of the plate, it's 3-1. and one. Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. And he lays off. Ball four. So he comes right off the bench and works the walk. Usually easier said than done. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Oh, and he just blows the fastball by him for strike one. No runs, two hits, and no errors to this point for the Angels. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Otani is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. The bat, number two, shortstop, Anderson. Back to the top of the order now, and standing in one of the best two strike hitters in baseball, Andrelton Simmons. Strike one to start the at bat. He's set. Here's the 0 1. Swings through it for strike number two. Looks to me like he's trying to make adjustments pitch to pitch up there at the plate, but he's looked completely thrown off so far. Late on the first one, way out front on the second. Swing and a miss. Blew the fastball right by him, and the inning is over. Angels strand one. They need to get something cooking here. It's 7 nothing. Noah Ramirez gets the call to pitch here, and he'll try to sort this mess out. He's going to try to at least eat a couple of innings for his guys. Shohei Otani digging in next. Leading up for the Philly, Noah Fielder. Shohei! First pitch coming. Here it is. 
Good pitch there down below the zone. Got him to go after it. Just off the outside that time. Laid off for a ball. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Hold the string on him. Strike three swinging. And a good throw just beats him. Otani almost reached on the strikeout, but he couldn't quite beat the throw, and there's one gone. Real Digging in and looking for more, JT Real Muto. He doubled earlier and carries a two for two line into this appearance. Nope. And he takes ball one. There's not too many umpires in the game that are going to ring that first strike right there. That was borderline up, even though it was in the zone. Yanked on the ground oh, down yeah. the line, but a foul ball, one and one. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Upton's under it. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. The bat. Now to the plate, Bryson Stott. It was a walk in his last trip. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Oh, Obviously, the game plan wasn't to let this guy beat you right here. He's already walked twice, and that pitch out of the zone tells me they want nothing to do with him. 1-0 pitch on the way. Aye. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. Listella has it. Throw to Pujols is going to be in time, and the inning is over. Here's Tommy Listella now, and at this point of the game, I think it's clear that the plan of attack against the top of the order has worked. Well, when you've only surrendered one hit to the top three guys in the order up to this point in the game, you know you're doing something right, Matt. You're spot on. Whatever they discuss coming into this game has worked out beautifully. One and one to Tommy Lostella. Down the third baseline, but a foul ball. One and two the count now. Trying to send him packing for the second time. Well hit to right, but foul. Skied into straightaway right. Harper has a read on it. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. So stepping in, Mike Trout. He's hitless in the game, as is much of the rest of his team. He'll start him here with a changeup, but it's taken for ball one. Counts even to Trout, one and one. Ball and two strikes now. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's his windup. I don't know if it's just flat stuff. But he's getting a lot of swings outside the zone, and he's having a big game. Got him swinging on the fastball there. Mike Trout sent packing for out number two in the sixth. First pitch on its way. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. You know, over the course of a full season, you're going to have some clunkers, and this certainly looks like one. By the look on the manager's face, he's going to probably call a meeting after this. 1-1 one, one pitch is a knuckle curve. He's in the hole now, 1-2. and two. Thought this middle of the order might give him a fight and put up a little bit of resistance, but that hasn't been the case. He's carving right through them here. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Angels are gone in order. They're down by a touchdown, 7-0. Ready to go for the last half of the inning and set to go as the third baseman, Matt Duffy. Now 
Here's the pitch. Eight, nine, and one to start the inning as the first pitch misses for ball one. Ground ball sent back up the middle. A dive, but he can't get a glove on it. It's through for a base hit. First game of the new series, and he's already sitting on three knocks right now. The pitching staff might have to make an adjustment going forward. No So now to the plate, Aaron Nola can't find the zone there as he lays off the breaking ball. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Off speed pitch, just missed inside. A couple strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat, trying to get ahead and put himself in a good hitter's count. Two and one now. From the belt, the pitch. Ball three. On deck, there's Andrew McCutcheon. He'll hit next. The three and one pitch. Now here's a check swing, and they appeal down to first. No swing. So that's ball four. Now batter. He almost got him to commit there as we take another look at it in slow motion. He comes awfully close to breaking that plane, but he was able to hold back. Strong wrist, and he gets a trip to first because of it. So the Phillies batting order turns over and set to go. Andrew McCutcheon, he was sat down on strikes in his last at-bat. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one, and we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Rendon is there. The second for one. On to Pujols at first, and it's a double play. Now really good pitch from the pitcher right pitch. there. Down in the zone, hits on top Gregory. of it, induces the ground ball double play. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Scott Kingery, runner in scoring position with Sugan. First pitch of the at-bat. Hit on the ground out to short. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. So frustrating, Nero. Like you make a good pitch That's and you great. get these guys that can run around and they're fast. You think you have an out, all of a sudden it turns into an infield single. Yeah, this is definitely part of his game, the ground attack, Dan. He's a speedster. He's going to get a ton of infield singles, and he knows how frustrated that pitcher is. Here's Bryce Harper now. As he'll take a look at an off-speed pitch here that misses for ball one. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. The 1-0. Out in front as he rolls over it to second. Lastella fields it cleanly. Throw over to Pujols at first. He'll take care of him to end the inning. Phillies get a couple of hits here, and it leads to one on the scoreboard. We're through six full. It's the Phillies eight, and the Angels nothing. Coming to the plate now, Justin Upton. No hits for him to this point, not unlike many of his fellow teammates. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. First pitch on its way to Upton. I really like how he's been attacking hitters early in these A-Bs. He's thrown strikes on the first pitch to over 70% of the guys he's faced so far. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is aboard. I know the score's out of hand right here, but I've never met a big league ball player that's going to give away an at-bat in any game ever. Nice piece of hitting right there, staying within yourself and grabbing you a knock. 
Yasiel Puig is in for the third time now as he takes a called strike. It's 0-1. A 1-1 count to Puig. And he'll fall behind now to 1-2. and two. From the belt, the pitch. And he struck him out. Strikeout number eight now in the ballgame for him. So he's still got his shutout working here in the oh, seventh. Good. And with that in mind, we check out the league leaders in shutouts. And as you see, he's right up there among league leaders in that department. Uh, offered it a low one there, but came up empty. In today's game, with velocity and exploding breaking stuff, you have to find a way to control the strike zone as a unit. They haven't been able to do that today, swinging at way too many pitches outside the zone. And he rings up another one, make it nine strikeouts for him in the game. That's back-to-back -back strikeouts now as they've been unable to advance that leadoff single into scoring position. Yeah, clearly no problems working out of the stretch right now, Matt. He's taking control this inning after giving up that hit. Now we'll see if he can finish it off strong as well. And this will be fouled away. He comes in with that average down in the 240s. Four home runs and 28 RBIs. Harper has a read on it. And the inning is over. Angels leave one. They're on the short end of an 8 nothing score. Kim Bedrosian comes on to pitch now, hoping for better results than the other arms that they've run out there in this one. And that'll bring up the Sacramento product, Reese Hoskins. 0 for 3 to this point. Yeah, not his game so far. He's such a good hitter. We all kind of expect him to pick up two or three hits most of the time. That's not really how baseball works, though. He knows full well he's sitting on a hat trick right here. All he's trying to do is avoid the golden sombrero. A one count. Here's the pitch. Nope. Ball one. And now we see a right-hander up and throwing in the Angel bullpen. Way outside. Nearly to the backstop. Two and one. Swing and a hot shot toward third. A leap, but he can't bring it down. Base hit. Hey, look at this guy compete right there. Nice base hit. Are you now kidding that. me? He had already had the hat trick. He was staring the golden sombrero straight in the face, and he said, no dice. Next up, the two-way Japanese import, Shohei Otani. No balls and a strike to count. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. And he gets around on one and hits it high and deep to straightaway right. Back goes Puig. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Now batting, catcher, J.T. Real Digging Muto. in, JT Real Muto. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. From the stretch. Hey. Bedrosian has a good reputation for preventing the long ball. One swing can change the complexion of the ball game when you're coming in late, but he rarely lets that happen. Part of what makes him as effective as he is. One and one to count. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Runners on first with one down. Down the line and fair. That's a hit. And this will find the wall deep in the corner. Hey, this guy's obviously seeing the ball right now. That's another okay. hard hit single. That's Three for four solid. right there. He's right looking super there. solid at the plate. To the plate now, Bryson Stott. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. He's 0 for 1 thus far.
the 1-0 home. It's a fastball that misses. Got to find a way to execute either a good fastball down the way or flip something off speed for a strike. You cannot miss over the heart of the plate in these situations. The hitter is on high alert. Fielded cleanly by Pujols. He'll go to the bag for one. Onto the shortstop at second, but it's thrown away. And he'll come in to score from second base. And that is a direct result, obviously, of that poor, poor throw. And now they'll get the third out here, but it won't come until the run has already crossed the plate on the play, and the inning will draw to a close. Here's Albert now. He leads off their half of the eighth, and they've been unable to get that starter out of the game to this point. Yeah, he settled in early on the mound, partly due to the lead his guys gave him to take some of the pressure off. He's taken that and pitched very effectively in this one. The bat. Well, these fans have been treated to a fine outing out of their hometown starter as we give you a look at the numbers here. A big zero in the run column on the right-hand side of your screen. In now is Andrelton Simmons. He's gone hitless in this one, Dan, and he's not alone. No, he's not, Matt. This lineup has had no answer for their opponent on the mound so far. First pitch on its way. Sends that one out of play for strike one. One out, nobody on. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. Man, this dude is locked in on the mound. He's throwing each pitch with confidence. Protecting on 0-2, so we'll do it again. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Now a swing, and the barrel of the bat breaks in two that time. But foul. Now another 0-2. Pulled high in the air out to left field. But Tani waits on it. Two gone. The batter the At the plate, Tommy La Stella is working on a one for three thus far. Ball. A ball of no strikes. Hey, I hope that call doesn't throw him off his game right here. He's been pitching one heck of a game, and I'd hate to see the umpire get in his head right now. A ball and a strike. Coming up on the century mark in pitches now through the first seven and two-thirds. And he's going to empty the bucket right here. He sees the finish line, Dan. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Angels go down one, two, three. They're looking up at a nine-nothing deficit. Ready for another chance? Matt Duffy. He's got three hits, including a double to this point. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Now a ball softly hit and fouled off to the left. Strike one. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Here's a shot to left field and deep. Looking up is Upton. And it's gone as they add still another. A solo home run here off the bat of Matt Duffy. Fourth home run for him on the season as this lead got even wider. Well, you could see when that one was tracking towards home, that was a hanging breaker right over the middle part of the plate, and that one wasn't coming back. So here now is the pitcher, Aaron Nola. He's been great on the mound, so we'll see if he can do something with the bat here as well. He's earned the chance to take this at bat. Yeah, Matt, when a guy's throwing the ball as well as he has, it kind of forces the manager's hand to stay with him. He's been exciting to watch, and he's really had this crowd behind him the entire game. No outs, nobody on. Now a bunt attempt here. Pujols is there, and he'll bring this one in. Now Into the box, Andrew McCutcheon. Andrew. One run in and one gun so far in this inning. First pitch of the at-bat. And it's fouled away. Bases are empty, one man out. Yeah. 
one and one to Andrew McCutcheon. And that fastball's taken, but catches the outer third. In tight with the slider, two and two. Now the pitch. Just a bit high with the fastball, but didn't get the call. Scott Kingery will be next. 3-2 pitch. Is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. This inning didn't get started the way he'd hope with that home run, but I've got to give him credit for flushing it and coming back here to get strikeouts on the last two guys. He's acting like it didn't even happen before. Into the box now, Scott Kingery. As he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. Good slider there, but laid off and called the ball low. Two out, nobody on. Outside, three and oh now. Now with the base is empty, I think he needs to be careful not to just groove one here just because it's 3-0. He's a guy that could ambush you and lose one over the wall. Fouled away. Not surprised he's laid on a heater right there. Just saw an off-speed pitch. Wanted to stay back a little bit too long. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. But the Phil's And that'll bring Mike Trout to the dish. Starting things for his side in the ninth as they face the improbable odds of trying to come back in this one. Yeah, not a lot of hope for them at this point. These guys know these bats still count, at least for their own stats. You can't mill in your chances as a professional. Count even now at one and one. And he takes a cold strike, too. One ball, two strikes. Line drive to left. Oh, and he misses it. As we take a look at his numbers, a couple of things jump out at you. Definitely, Matt. He's been throwing it by guys the entire game, but that leads to some high pitch counts, and that's the case here. After that hit, you have to wonder if he's starting to get a little bit fatigued. Yeah, and in today's game, everyone seems to want to err on the side of caution in terms of pitch counts. A ball and a strike now. This is line to left, and that'll get down for a base hit. Hey, this might be their best opportunity to at least get on the board. They've been struggling offensively, and they find themselves with two runners on board. Let's see if they can continue. Stepping up now, Justin Upton. And his guys are looking to erase that donut on the scoreboard with a runner in scoring position. Yeah, Matt, they've been really shut down so far in this one. They've had runners on base, but haven't been able to string anything together. And he fouls this one off. First and second here with nobody out. And Upton won't chase that one. It's one and two. Now a fastball awfully close, but he doesn't get the call. It's two and two now. A bouncer to the left side. And he indeed takes only the out at first as the runners move to second and third with one away now. Next to bat will be Yasiel Puig. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. First pitch here misses wide, 1-0. Looking at his lifetime numbers, Puig enters the day with a... Oh, what a stop on the slide. It's in time. The bat. The catcher. Into the box now, Jason Castro. He'll try to bring in that second run of the inning from third with two down. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Two outs here with a runner at third. 
taken called strike two, and now they're down to their final strike tonight. Angels down to their last strike. Swung on, but fouled off to the left. Now this crowd of over 38,000 on their feet. Now a swing and a ground ball. This should do it. Throw on the first. He'll take care of them. And the Phillies have taken the opener here at home as this ball game is over. Well, he was gunning for a complete game shutout, but it just wasn't in the cards here. But anytime you can go nine innings and give up only one single run, you've done pretty good for yourself and your team. Ten to one, the final lopsided score in this ball game. The Philadelphia Phillies oh, took the lead in the second tonight. inning and rode that until the very end. Aaron Nola wins for the league best 15th time, turning in a very strong, complete game effort. Andrew Heaney allowed seven earned runs to cross the plate in a losing effort. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find